So where are we exactly? Can you explain where we are yeah, so the, the whole thing, landscape? The first thing you see here is Fortune Valley. This is the, the most, op uh, most diverse uh, open world that we've ever built for Need for Speed. It's got a massive city called Silver Rock with tons of different districts that you can explore and race in. Plus, we've got the mountains for great you know, uh, drifting events and hill climbs. We've got the canyons and a desert. And this is a place called Ember Valley. You look at it, it's sunny, it's hot. It makes you thirsty just looking at it. It's the perfect setting for an action movie heist like the one you're about to do. So one of the things that's already really cool is that I can just drive off-road. You're no longer confined completely to the road. That's right. It's the most open uh, need for speed experience we've ever built. So you can uh, find your own path. I mean, we've got you know, checkpoints in this mission to, to lead you straight to that truck. But you know, when you're free roaming, you can go off-road. You can explore this world. It, it, it's massive. And there's tons to explore and tons to find. Cool. So what's going on here? There's the truck. That's yeah, so what we got to take down. Rendezvous point. You know, the crew, uh, they're meeting here. They're waiting for this truck. It's carrying the $2 million Koenig egg. It's going to whiz past here. And then Tyler and Jess are going to hop into action here. They're going to hop into their Mustang RTR. Yeah, right. Yeah, classic Need for Speed ride here, All right? So what's the what's the plan? What what are we planning to do? Yeah, so Tyler's going to take the wheels, going to use his uh, street racing skills to carve his way through uh, dense traffic. He's going to deal with some uh, some AI rivals that are going to protect the cargo. But most importantly, he's going to drive and catch that truck so that Jess can get into position to hijack this truck in motion. All right, sounds good. Let's get going right, and catch up to this truck. See what you can do, Nick. All right, so I've got nitrous. There we go. You got to nitrous, punch it. You're going to try to catch up to these rivals. we got two dark shelters. It's all blacked out. They're clearly evil. You got to take, take them out. out. Yeah, let's go. So we either got health on top. Oh. Whoa, that was a quick takedown. That You're was a, a natural big takedown. You are a natural action movie hero, man. <laughs> oh, uh, so nice hit, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we've, got, that's that's we've, got, we've got these cameras that's that present your truck. biggest, baddest uh, crashes Matt, in the game. You're All right, so let's catch up to the truck. The plan is to catch up to the truck by the tunnel, because in the tunnel, any air surveillance, they're not going to be able to see this hijacking motion. So you got to take, uh, you take, take this truck down in the tunnel. So one thing I think we should talk about really quickly is just the way the game feels. Mm -hmm. Can you mention that a bit? Yeah, you know, we pride ourselves on having heroic driving physics that are really pick up and play. So anyone can, can pick up the controller. They, they're hopping on this Mustang. They're going 150 miles an hour, and they feel like a hero right away. So we caught up to the truck, and uh, things never go to plan. Yeah, in action movies, yeah, things go sideways. So you know, the, the truck driver really doesn't want you to steal that code exit. So he's brake checked you, the doors are flying open, and you're set back. He's just uh, he's booking it right now. He's plowed through uh, all these traffic cars, making life tough for you. you you got to navigate your way through the scene and catch up to that truck. He's made an absolute mess of this highway. All right, so I'm pushing. All right. You can catch him, Nick. I'm going. Nitrous. I need more nitrous, man. Here we go. All right, here we, we have some enforcers. So now, you know, talking about the, the AI improvements we made. So a lot of the fans are asking for tougher AI, you know, so that when they catch up to opponents, they're really jostling and battling with them. Every overtake is earned. So these guys have ramped up their, their yeah. attitude to 11, right? So when you shunt them, they're going to fight back. So they're not going to make life easy for you now. Yeah, they hit you pretty hard. What's cool is as you, you, you learn the world, you find different things in the environment that you can use against your rivals. So look out for, for telephone poles, guardrails, traffic cars. Oh, well, there's more. There's convenient right traffic jam for AAUs. There you go. He's gonna try to get the other one right away, gonna bounce off to him. Here we go. Oh, almost. These guys are tougher. Oh, oh. Going down. you see? Pretty nasty. On, they are tough. These guys. Trying to get three to go. On, Nick. So one of the things that's really cool is the best way I kind of take it down is to crash into things in the environment, like using those poles. It's a little hard, but it's effective. In any open world game, you're going to find ways that you want to go through this mission yourself. So even if you re replay it over and over again, you're going to find different ways to take down these enforcers each time you play. Trying to deal with them. They're tough, man. I'm trying to use the poles. Only two left, Nick. The truck is getting away, man. You want that car. There's no way this truck's getting away. Oh. Whoa! That was a movie moment if I go. ever saw one. All right, let's get rid of this guy. All right. There we go. Again, we play up you know, these action movie moments, right? When, when you have these big, big uh, uh, crashes, we're going to present it to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait up for this guy so I can crash him out. Oh, he's going to come charge at you. Look oh, no. out. 
There we go. There you go. Got him. Just like you planned it, Nick. Yep. 100% on purpose. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, now punch it. You got to catch it through the truck. Plan A went sideways, so we're going to go to plan B. We got to catch up to this truck. We got to hijack it before that truck gets to sailing us, because there's some serious heat on you. So you got to uh, get to that truck and get that coming to you. Here we go. You get into the city. Let's catch him up. Pushing hard. Truck driver's gone to oncoming, making your life difficult. You got to weave through that oncoming traffic. You got to find a gap. There we go. Gotta hit there's that pocket. Gap. Line it up for Jess. Come on. There we go. Here's Jess's big, big moment. <laughs> With three drivable characters, we have in our action missions of uh, these dynamic vehicle switches. So you were playing as Tyler Street Racer. Yeah. Now you're going to jump into the Koenigsegg and you're going to drive as Jess. Switching characters. I like it. And there Boom. you go. You got it. You've done this before. You've stolen a $2 million car before, right? A couple right? of times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now, now you get to escape. feel that sense That's of speed awesome. in this uh, awesome hypercar. This thing's fast. Now uh, you've generated some heat in this mission. This time around, we have got a virtual warehouse. So that allows us to effectively give you limitless cars. Yeah. So you can bring them in and out of your garage and you know work with the cars that you want to work with. Cool. So you can do just as many as you want. Absolutely. Great. All right, so let's talk about some of these cars. So we've got the BMW M4. We had the M4 in the last game, but this time we've upgraded. We've gone for the GTS. So it's a bit more track orientated. It's a bit more, bit more performance oriented. Okay. We got some muscle as well. We've got some muscle cars. So last time around we didn't really hit the money on uh, on the muscle cars. So yeah, we we we've done a bit more this time around. And, and yeah, the Nissan 350Z, right? So everybody's been asking for it. Um, we can't deny the fans what they want. So we've. Put it in Need for Speed. Awesome. And this one, yeah, it, look, it may look quirky, right? Yeah. Um, it seems a bit out of place in Need for Speed, but what we've done is we've built this feature called the Derelict that, again, Marcus touched upon it in the in the live show, but um, what the Derelict is is a way for us to kind of let the player explore the open world that we've got. Um, it's a rich, open, open world that we have, so we've put these cars out there in the world for you to find and explore and, and kind of take them back to your garage and find all the parts that you need to build them. Cool. So effectively, it takes a car from stock to scrap. That's scrap to stock to supercar. Cool. So let's jump in the Beetle and uh, fix it up a bit. Yes, absolutely. So it's looking a bit run down right now, right? Yeah. So we, we want to restore it back to stock. Yeah. Now we should probably say as well, these derelicts, you don't need to restore them like this. You can you don't need to, upgrade no. them a little bit. I think absolutely. we'll show that in a little bit. Absolutely. And you could leave it like this if you wanted to. Yeah, right? for sure. Not my particular style, but you know what I mean. It might be somebody's style. Um, so yeah, you can see some of the more, some more of the parts. They're, yeah. they're looking pretty good. Absolutely. So we've tried to make sure that we've got parts in every interaction point that we that we have for this car. Um, we want to make sure that we've got a, a rich experience wherever you go on the car. Um, we've designed a lot of parts for this car as well because you know out there in the reality, there's not that much that yeah. you can do to a Beetle. But this is Need for Speed, right? And we want to take it that extra step further. Of course, of course. So we can play around with this car. Let's talk about some of the brands that are also a Need for Speed Payback. Yeah, so we've not um, ditched any of the brands that we had previously. So we've we've come back and we've got the, your Rocket Bundies, we've got your Liberty Walks, we've got your Voltex parts, you've got APR parts, we've got all these rims that you can see so right now. So many right? rims. Um, so we're all, we, we love that stuff. We want to bring that back to the people. Of course. So I think we've done a, a pretty good job of showing this off. Shall we show off the big, big thing? Yeah, so I talked about it previously. We want to take these cars to supercars, right? So here we are, we've, we've got our super builds. So these are effectively the biggest, the baddest, the, the most performance oriented cars that you can build in Need for Speed. Yeah, I've got my personal favorite down at the bottom. Off-road. Yeah, really? Off-road, yeah. Off-road. So off-road's back in, into Need for Speed. And that yeah, we is were, crazy. We wanted to build something special, right? Yeah. And what's more special than to show a, a jacked up Beetle? Awesome. So what, what, what do these do? Um, we should say that these are derelict thing, specific cars. So yeah, the, the derelict cars that you find in the world will be the only ones that we can take to the super build. We want to make sure that those cars are special and you, you want to put some time into them and, and put the effort into making them the super builds, right? Of course. Now, just while we have some extra time, let's talk about some of the stance tuning and stuff like that. Stance tuning is back again. Um, so what we've done this time around is tweak them slightly, right? We, we wanted to make sure that we could slam a car on the deck. Right? Of course. We love crazy camber, so why not go even further than we did before? Looks crazy. It's a bit of a, 
odd combination that you've got there. It's a bit so done, calm, a bit done, rusty. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. So the rap, editor, the rap editor's back. Um, we're not going to go into the detail of it right now because, you know, it would take you days maybe to yeah, create it. Yeah, of course. Rap. So I think that's been a pretty good first look at Need for Speed Payback. 